have to take this off so we can put the new quick chute on there half inch bolt there half inch bolt there take those off and that'll come right off and then we'll just throw it up on the shelf there somewhere <laughs> Okay, so we're going to have to take this off so we can put the new quick chute on there. Half inch bolt there, half inch bolt there. Take those off and that'll come right off. And then we'll just throw it up on the shelf there somewhere. Um, first things first. I get asked this a lot and I don't really even know why it's important. Um, I don't play favoritism things, but a lot of people keep asking me, who's my favorite YouTube channel? And... Um, I don't really have a favorite. I watch a lot of channels. Um, a lot of you guys, they probably watch your channel and you don't even know it. But uh, I don't always comment on them, but I do watch a ton of videos, even though I don't comment on a lot of them. But uh, when it comes to favorite channel, if I had to pick one, I guess I would probably say Andrew Camerata. I watch everything he puts out. I love his videos. Even if it's something I'm not even interested in, I watch it because I just... I like watching him and I like to watch the way he does things and uh, Rednecks run strong in my area. This guy blows us out of the water. He is in New York too, but on the other side of New York, like way away from me, but uh, I watch everything he puts out. I love his. So uh, not that he needs any help or any growth by any means, but if you guys haven't checked him out, go check him out. Andrew Camarata, C-A-M-A-R-A-T-A or T-T-A, something like that. Just start punching. He'll pop up. He's a huge channel, but... That's the one I like the most. I want to show you guys something quick. And I looked on Ryan ZK and it's not like this. I thought this was really weird. See the fuel pump is right here. Okay, the line comes out of the fuel pump, comes up, comes around, down into the fuel filter. Then the line comes up this way loops again right there and comes up this way and falls all the way over right why wouldn't you just run the line out of the fuel pump put the fuel filter right here and then continue the line going that way instead of doing all of this i don't understand why they did that because this line right here coming out of, or going into the fuel filter is already starting to crimp right there I don't understand why you wouldn't just run it straight up right into the line and keep it going and cut out all this extra like foot of line that just loops around anyway and has more bends in it. I thought that was strange. Okay, so the UPS guy just dropped off the Quick Shoot. It is, this is what I'm using, Quick Shoot NQD-WSAC52. That's the part number. That's the one they claim is for this mower, so let's just hope it's right. And then I will tell you all about the company that I ordered it from and why I've waited three and a half weeks for this thing. instructions all kinds of instructions plus a warranty registration form man they give you all kinds of them. nice instructions so the company I ordered this from is called power mower sales and if you guys remember last year when I tried to order the accelerator for my Great Dane and I ordered from a company and then they uh, they never shipped it and finally a couple weeks later I called them back and they said oh well when you order from us we order from the manufacturer then they ship it to us then we ship to you you guys hear my dog walking around anyway uh, so I forgot about the name of that company and I swore I'd never deal with that company again because they say that they will inform you if there's any delay in shipping and they never told me anything. So that was the company I ordered this from again and I'd forgotten about that company and that was the deal. So that's why I waited three weeks for this but it's Power Mower Sales out of Florida and I will never ever order from them again and I highly suggest that you don't either. 
but do what you want. So anyway, I lined it up and uh, got it to where I wanted, made some marks with a Sharpie, drilled the holes, and then, you know, with a small bit, raised a bit to a bigger size and drilled it bigger. There are three eighths holes. I uh, swept all the shavings out of there and then got lined up. The good thing about the bracket is it uh, it slotted the lower half where I'm putting the bolts through right now and the upper half, which you'll see me tighten them up in a minute. So um, they say do not take those brackets off while you're mounting it, keep it on there. And so I put them in and then I tighten up the bottom ones as you see here. And then I adjust the chute itself where you see the black piece going across. Um, I You just saw it move right there. Um, I slide it back to where I want it and adjust it and then I tighten them but what I did and what they suggest you do is to drop the plate down over the mouth before you tighten up that top bracket that way you know it's lined up exactly where you need it to be and you get a good seal so see right there I dropped it down and I slid it back and uh, and then I tighten up the top ones, which is the way they recommend. See, there's the top ones right there. I slid it back, and uh, you'll see me. I push my leg against it to hold it back tight, and I get these tightened up. I realized on the next one back, it's easier to get in there with a wrench. That one's a little difficult, but it's easy to get in there with a wrench if you flip the plate up. So um, there I am right there. I flip the plate up, and then I can tighten that one up. And it's definitely back far enough that I can throw my accelerator on here. So this thing's going to work out awesome. But then they uh, they give you this little piece of wire to hook onto the spring, and they show you right in the picture. Put a screwdriver through it and use that to pull the spring up over. And uh, it really wasn't that hard. And you pull the wire right off, and now the spring is hooked there. And it definitely has plenty of tension. So now that piece is hooked up on there, and it uh, comes with a handle. It's four screws. They're like tech screws. And I stuck an Allen wrench in the top, and then I tighten them up. Uh, with 7 16th wrench on the bottom the other bolts where I drilled through the deck and bolted them through if you want to know uh, The holes you drill are 3 8 holes and the bolts are half inch um, So that's all I use for that, but then I put these on here and uh, tighten them up and You know that's pretty much it. It's that simple There are a couple adjustment points in this handle so you can have it further forward if you want or back a little further I have it in the farthest back position because I think where that's at will make it the easiest for me but that'll pretty much do it and it's on there. Okay, so simple enough. I think it took 15 minutes, 20 maybe. So it's on there. Let me show you real quick how it works. So when I'm on the mower, I just push it. It comes all the way up. I pull it back, it drops right down. I push it just a little bit and it locks into place. So it's partially open if I want. I just push it all the way up, comes all the way up, pull it back, all the way down, push it a little bit, like I said, and it's partially open or all the way up. And the good thing I like about it, I guess some people mount them out here, but the reason I mounted it back there is so I can still put my accelerator on it. The accelerator will still the pin will go in there and the hook will drop right over there no problem so easy enough this should take care of everything so that was super simple to put on and now it's easy enough for me to reach of course i can't reach it when i'm sitting down but when i'm standing i can reach it just fine which will be no problem because the only time i'm going to be close to stuff where i'm going to need it to drop down I explained in another video, I'm always standing at that point because whenever I'm getting close to stuff, I stand up because sitting down, you can't see the edges of the deck. So whenever I'm going around flower beds, buildings, cars, stuff like that, I always stand up to make my perimeter passes so that I could see the deck. So this will work out really well. So like I mentioned in my live stream this morning, this isn't for everybody. And just because I do it on one of my mowers does not mean I'm telling everybody to go do it. It doesn't mean you have to go do it. This just works for me and I'm just showing what I do and what works for me and what I like to do. And that's it. And if you want to do it, now you'll know how to do it because I've showed you which the instructions that came with this are excellent. Definitely far better than a lot of other instructions I've gotten We'll just say the trimmer rack that comes from right you guys go back and watch that video of me installing that if you haven't and you'll see that I show the instructions in there or lack thereof and uh, 
I show you, you know, how I mounted them so that people would know because there really are no instructions with that. Um, but I've gotten lots of things over the years that didn't really have any good instructions. So this did, they were excellent. I only had to look at them twice. There, there's pictures and, you know, parts to read that tell you exactly what to do step by step. It's super simple. Um, but this is probably one of the easiest things I've ever installed. So we'll find out how it works. Thanks for watching.